Timothy and Fiona Hill were Theresa May's closest advisers. Their reportedly caustic style, though, made them enemies and the disastrous election result made them vulnerable. The ultimatum to May, from its reported those in her own party, either they go or come Monday there'll be a leadership challenge. Timothy and Hill have gone. These resignations are a measure of May's new fragility since losing her parliamentary majority. A fragility that will create for her huge problems when it comes to pushing through Parliament any deal that she might agree in Brussels. With a working majority, May had control over her parliamentary party. Now in minority government, she's susceptible to rebellion on the back benches. In a bid to avert continuing crisis, May is set to begin talks with the Democratic Unionists in Northern Ireland and its 10 MPs. Fiercely loyal to the United Kingdom, it's not really known what the DUP's price will be for supporting May's struggling executive. In Brussels, concern the collapse of stable government in the UK will impact on the start of Brexit talks in just over a week's time. Worries downplayed by German Chancellor Angela Merkel in Mexico. When Great Britain is ready to negotiate, we are ready. We have finalised the guidelines and I assume that Great Britain will respect the negotiations calendar. Outcomes from May's post-election pressure are shrouded in uncertainty, her authority diminished and a looming Brexit timetable shutting down options. Richard Bestick, CGTN, London. Egypt's President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi will attend a summit in Berlin that will address cooperation between G20 and African countries. The two-day conference, titled Investing in a Common Future, will focus on creating future opportunities for African youth in light of growing populations on the continent. Yasser Hakim has those details on Egypt's economic plans. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi is planning to bolster economic cooperation with Germany during meetings in Berlin. Egypt will negotiate a 207 million euro financial package. The money will mainly go to the impoverished villages and cities of Upper Egypt. It will be used to establish a number of small sized industries for youth and women, entrepreneurship programs, agricultural projects, and skills development. Another German grant is expected to be signed to bolster the renewable energy sector. Egypt is rebuilding an economy shattered by two uprisings in the last six years. Inflation and unemployment levels have increased drastically in the last few years. The government embarked on aggressive economic reforms that succeeded in raising foreign reserves and stabilizing the currency market. In Berlin, the delegation is also going to showcase its new investment law and regulations to German executives. The latest incentives have been a positive factor in attracting businesses to Egypt. The government had set a target of $10 billion of FDIs in 2017. It has already attracted $6 billion in the first quarter, far exceeding expectations. Yes, Hakim, for CGTN, Cairo.